the application. The government is not ruling out an inquiry into the latest planning controversy. Derek Nally clears the first hurdle in his bid to secure a presidential nomination. Eleven people die in Italian earthquakes, a world-renowned shrine is damaged. And tributes to the man who always stood tall, first son of the Treaty Stone City. Good evening and welcome. The government is to consider whether the planning controversy in North County Dublin should be investigated by a new tribunal. After a meeting between the Taoiseach and the Thornister tonight, coalition sources said an inquiry wasn't being ruled out. They said a decision would be made when all the facts had been examined. Earlier, the government had published the full text of the letter at the centre of the controversy. Written by a solicitor for Michael Bailey of Bowvale Developments, it details his offer to James Gogarty of JMSE for the development of nearly 800 acres of land. Excerpts from the letter published in McGill magazine reopened the planning controversy. It also focused renewed attention on the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Ray Burke. The men at the centre of the letter were present when he received a £30,000 donation three days after it was written. In the letter, Mr Michael Bailey proposed he would buy the land in question for £2.5 million or be given a 50% share in its ownership in exchange for procuring planning permission and building bylaw approval. He said planning approval for housing, industrial and commercial development would take two to three years to obtain and would cost up to £300,000, including fees for architects and engineers, as well as planning and bylaw charges. The three-page letter pointed out that the land was not zoned for development, and it said there would be a severe uphill battle to arrange for services and planning permission, which were notoriously difficult, time-consuming and expensive to procure. The letter added that the applications for material contravention orders would be highly sensitive and controversial, and strenuous opposition could be expected from private, political and planning sectors. They would involve the procurement of a majority vote at two full council meetings. Some government sources described the letter as a normal commercial document using standard business language. But after a meeting between the Taoiseach and Tonistia tonight, sources were at pains to stress that a new tribunal into the planning row wasn't being ruled out. It was a recognition that the issue would continue to dog the coalition. Uh, if there's facts that emerge in this issue of wrongdoing, I'll deal uh, with the individuals that are behind it. If there's facts that lead uh, to something that I, I, I believe or something needs to be investigated, we'll investigate it. Uh, I'll, I'll protect nobody or, no, or nothing. However, opposition leaders said the entire planning controversy should be examined by the new tribunal. I think that it would be far better for everybody, and particularly at a time when politics is in disdain, to bring these matters before the tribunal and clear